Okay, everyone. I hope everyone is good. I'm back online finally. Okay, why are my sound alerts coming through? There we go. Just took a little bit. Morning, Sergeant Major. How do you know what kind of goddamn day it is? All right, so let's begin with the Overgrown Cave instance. Because I think we still need to finish that. Yes, we do. I remember where I left off. I'm very glad you could take time to assist us. <coughs> We've been having some strange occurrences lately. Noises we can't identify are being heard deep in the caves. And our supplies keep disappearing. One of my scientists volunteered to investigate, and he hasn't returned. Would you be willing to look for him? Any scans you could take when you're in the caves would also be very helpful. Yes, we will look for him. Alright, so on my end, it sounds like everything's okay. Here's our first object to scan. Time for my break yet? Nope. You don't get breaks. Stuck on that outcropping. Oops, scorpion. <coughs> Let's hope I didn't get turned around. Nope, doesn't look like it. Ah, uh, some webbing. I managed to clear up some of the interference. I am detecting Tholian life signs ahead of your coordinates. Ooh. Please proceed with caution.
Pavilions are flooding this area with low level of Thoron particles. The particles won't harm us in small doses, but it could be an attempt to trick our tricorders. I suggest we stay alert. And there's one of the Thulians right now. Too bad we can't read that. The Solians seem to be gathering information on the Daywan ruins. They appear to be especially interested in the relationship between the Daywans and the Iconians. That's not good. It's unusual to see a plant of this type thriving so far underground. We know that the people who once live on this planet retreated to the caves after some type of environmental disaster. Perhaps they bioengineered plants that could survive under the ground as food sources. We're still seeing the result of their experiments thousands of years later. Indeed. Hey, Jeru, it's alive! Yes, I'm alive. The reports of my death have been greatly exaggerated. So as it turns out, Jeru, what was causing all of my Windows errors was actually my hard drive. Ooh, glad you're back. And rich. Yeah, thank you, Jeru. <laughs> Not rich anymore, but yeah, close enough. And thank you for the welcome back, Jeru. I really appreciate that. Thulians seem to be collecting extensive data on the Daywan technology. They seem to be particularly interested in the artifacts related to the gateway technology. Are all the levels okay there, uh, Jeru? Uh, easy come, easy go. It's the way with money, yeah. But at least all my debt is paid off, for now. All good? Nice, thank you. Shupa has messaged me on Discord.
Okay, here comes the towing captain. Ah, back lord. Really? Oh, that hurt. All running nice and smooth, and all very nice and smooth. Even the gameplay is smooth and crisp. So, new motherboard, two new hard drives. Uh, Windows 10 install. That's about it. Yeah, the wi motherboard is Wi-Fi capable. A lot of good things. the captain's down. Sir, I'm detecting an unusual energy signature here. It's similar to the rifts on Nukara Prime, but more stable. And we know that Alconians are trying, sorry, the Tholians are trying to harness the rifts as a form of transportation to other dimensions. If I had to guess, I would say it would be a Tholian transporter. Wouldn't want to try it though, there's no telling up where we end up. Yeah. Captain Atholians have several flora samples in quarantine. Maybe attempting small experiments to see if the planet could be made habitable for them without environmental suits. Of course, if the planet is habitable for Tholians, it would be unhab in, in, ugh, 
uninhabitable for humanoids. Yeah, try to get unique to say those words. Tasks here aren't our biggest problem. As you've seen, Tholians are interested in this planet too. Go to the cave entrance and the small crater in the forest. Find a Tholian console. Use these security codes. They have to work. They have to. Well, let's look at the codes. Tholian access codes look like they give us a tunnel directly into their main system logs. Accessing now, they work. Are you ready to view the logs? Let's view them. Update begins. Do you wish a verbal briefing? You are 2.3 minutes late with your update. Transmit your support, your report, and then proceed. Delay was unavoidable. I've located a source of artifacts, but there were complications. Ramblin' scientists discovered my survey team. Has the intruder been neutralized? We are holding him for questioning. The planet holds technology of interest to us. As our network provides a convenient access point to the subspace tunnel so we can send ships to your location. Find the technology and determine its origin. We do not want to repeat the situation on Nukara Prime. Understood, the Romulans and the allies may prove troublesome. They are expanding their explorations of the ancient colony world in areas of interest to us. They are mammals and easily distracted. We will send a strike force to their space station. This will draw one known as Obasek and his allies away from your survey teams. Romulans are a threat to our operation. There's a possibility that they will discover or destroy the artifacts before we recover them. Eliminate the threat. Recover the artifacts. Interesting. Wait, does that mean the Tholian attack on the vault was nothing more than a distraction? Also, why are the these artifacts artifacts so important? Preparing to submit recording to command. Send it, and let's get out of the caves. Easy, let's Starfleet. Yeah. All right, now we'll go to the ruins. Oh, um, okay, not good. There we go. Now we're on the right path. Noch ne Kalek Ness.
Excuse me, dinner's coming back up on me. And I must say, dinner was good. Oh, I see enjoying it. Oh, yeah. Matter of fact, I put a new sound alert in, but I never tested it. You know, Drew, I bet if I put in the, uh... Chicago! <laughs> Shikasha! Ah! <laughs> I was gonna say... Shishkabob! Um, if I put it on bagpipes, you'd be playing, playing it every time. You're out of there! Okay. That's right, we have to go back to headquarters. So we we'll just transport a pad right over here. Oh, that's not a transporter pad. Way the hell over here. Yeah, Piper's all over town. The tattoo is at the castle. Yeah, that's one of the places I want to go to see the Royal Edinburgh Military Tattoo. That's on the bucket list. That's right, it is on in the month of August. I assume you're here to attend the meeting with the town. Yes, I am. I'm grateful for all you've done for our colony. We wouldn't be as far along as we are without your assistance. That's why I wanted you here today, to hear for yourself some of what we found. 
Doctor. What we found in our archaeological Need to look months before, but if you make it over here, you can get a few free whiskeys. Nice. We've discovered multiple ruins from that time period. And hopefully you and I can meet up there, Jeru. The historical records we still have. Most of our data from that era was lost with the homeworld. And the sword? I'm ready to confirm that the blade found at the battle site is the sword of the Raptor Star. We don't have a visual record of the sword, but the one we have matches written accounts, and a quantum analysis shows signs of masterwork. Something like this. Yeah, could I was only buying you there. Oh, nice. You were Thank right you, dude. Here. The sword will become a symbol of our reborn civilization. You were saying there was an early. Yeah, I know. It's like. What do you know about them? Tickets are sold out the years in advance. We found are approximately one hundred fifty thousand. And they're quite old. expensive. But I suspect that there may be some even older, based on preliminary. And all I have a flight over there, the hotel. These people were quite advanced. While the oldest ruins show a culture that was defined by its devotion to a series of deities, later they developed technology, art, even spaceflight. Roughly 150,000 years ago, however, there was some sort of worldwide seismic event. Every volcano on the planet erupted, presumably blocking out the sun. Ambient temperatures dropped dramatically. The radiation count spiked. We're still repairing that damage. The survivors of this cataclysm retreated to caves in the warmest areas of the planet, but they died out soon afterward. And what caused this event? We're still working on that. We have found a new site deep underground near an active volcano, but there are massive power spikes unrelated to the magma flow. If there is a source of the seismic instability, it should be there. We would have to send down a team to investigate, though, and it is quite dangerous. Oh. I wouldn't send anyone down without an environmental suit. I could go myself. Right. But I'm not ready to Always, dear, to I'm that, taking though. my daughter to Florida. Too few scientists left. Later this year, all my savings will be spent. Oh yeah. And trained for something like well, this. if you're coming up here to New York, I'd say stop by. You. But you're not. Especially after all the help you've given us already. But your being here shows that my people and yours don't have to be adversaries. Not anymore. Not all Romulans think cooperation like this is possible. I do. Are you willing to see it through to the end? Looks like it's up to us, sir. We should prepare a full waiting for this assignment. I also should note that we've been given permission to view the security footage from that presentation. Just return to this location and ask one of the security officers so we file the report. File the report. It will be a two hour flight from Edinburgh to JFK. And it's to uh, two hours? Uh, what are you on? The Condor? Should be about 18. Yeah, so it was 18 from here to Denmark. Oh, two hour layover at JFK. I gotcha. That makes more new sense. Readings have been detected in the underground ruins on New Romulus. We need you to clear a path to the lowest levels and then signal us so the Titan and our scientists can investigate. Oh. Uh, let's see. Yeah, JFK is actually um, five hours, 39 minutes from me. Let's get the kilometers of that.
but it's off season, eight hours direct. Yeah, it's a little better. Uh, I'm actually 581 kilometers from JFK. New readings have been detected in the underground ruins. We need you to clear a path to the lower levels and signal us so that Todd and our scientists can investigate. Understood. Yeah, it's fun off one flight race to the next check in on the next and hop, hoping no delays. Yeah. Definitely. Okay, that was easy to deal with. Okay, Mr. Tholian, let's go after you. firing at. Ugh, Frankie snail juice. Captain, these ruins are ancient. By the markings, this area would have been built around the time of the Sundering. But the lower levels appear to be much older. I recommend we investigate deeper and see if we can learn more about this structure. And its purpose, we need to be careful though, there's no telling what's down here. I agree. I'm detecting high levels of toxic gases as well as extreme heat ahead. Environmental suits will be required to go further.
a radiator and radiate this. For a second, that uh, congratulations, Amber, I thought it was up in the stream. <laughs> it's not from the game. Is everybody's weapons up to par? No. They are now. I take it from the death from above. Ah, Chateau Picard. I can't wait for Monday to start drinking again. Really celebrate. Not that I drink much. Oh, leave me alone. that you call over? Huh? That's cool your call over? What are you talking about, Juro? call so you can't yeah
Okay, let's grab our loot. Let's shut down the power plant. Arrow something went wrong during the power plant shutdown sequence. We appear to initiate a cascading overload. I think I can deal with it remotely. It'll take some time. Until then, you have to shunt the power between the four relays as it increases. If you can keep at least two relays functional, you'll be able to handle the power installation. With one relay, I don't know how to stop the overload. Got that one over there, come on. There's number four. Come on, run. Run, you butt mucket. Number two is overloading. Which one's number two? Right there. Oh, come on. I didn't make it back there in time. Damn it. Screw you, Tholians.
What the hell? Okay, I didn't mean to cut through that cutscene so quickly. Reading loud and clear, Admiral, head researcher Adriana and I are preparing to make our way to you now. We'll be there soon. I received your signal. Thank you for calling us down. I knew we could count on you. Sir, I think I found some kind of log or recording. Can you activate it? I'm not sure. It has some iconography similar to artifacts found in the Isha Forest Cave. This symbol in particular looks... research to do before any of those questions can be answered. This gate is clearly inoperable. Do you believe it could be reactivated? With time, yes, I believe so. <gasps> By the elements! Do you know what this means? It means we have a chance to learn about one of the galaxy's most feared and ancient races. We couldn't have done any of this without you. As amazing as this yeah, discovery know. is, it pales in comparison to what you've done for me and my people. I could never fully or properly express my gratitude for everything you've accomplished since coming to New Romulus. Because of you, the Romulans and Remans truly have a chance at starting a new life. You've helped secure our new home and given us a fighting chance at survival. There are no words that will ever fully express my gratitude. Information discovered Remember a Stargate series? Gate, it won't end well. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Some people <laughs> I was looking at myself. Releasing secrets such as these. But time and time again. Don't activate the gate. <laughs> that we can all work together. <laughs> yes. For a brighter future and for a better Romulus. I thank you. Actually, that's the next mission. <laughs> Saving a pilot ready one hail. Excuse me, excellent as work. Excellent work as always, Admiral Cynthia. In the past few months, you've done more for the Federation rebel in diplomacy and relations than anyone else in the past few years. In honor of your hard work and excellent service, I've ordered a shipment of materials which should allow you to require some much deserved new equipment. I look forward to your next report. Keep up the good work. Thank you, Admiral.
Okay, before I start the next mission, I have got to do my event. Then we'll head to ESD to repair all my injuries. Okay. Oh, let's do this first. Thinking now we know more about this area, it will be difficult to push the Tholians out. But we now know they were down there. We can be more careful. Also, we know what they're looking for artifacts from the previous civilizations. If they're useful to the Tholians, they'll be useful for us. All we have to do is find them first.
Not that one. Congratulations, Admiral. And another up rank up. It's gonna say update. Enjoy the rest of the stream by breaking the bed up early in the morning. All right, Jeru, thank you for stopping by. And have a good sleep, my friend. Let's open up all these boxes and get rid of them.
Let's go to ESD so we can heal ourselves. Gateway discovered beneath the surface a new realm is prepared and ready for activation. Because the realm of the Republic is dedicated to sharing the gateway and all we learn from it with our allies, we are inviting representatives from the Romulan Republic, Federation, and Klingon Defense Force to join us on New Romulus. For the first trip through the gateway, I would be honored if you would join us. Well, why not? My pleasure. As part of our excavations in this area, we found artifacts from much older civilization that once lived on this world. Yeah, we know all that. It would be my pleasure. Welcome to New Romulus. I am Fernick. I serve as li liaison officer for Tatan. As you can see, we have stabilized the environment in this area as part of our investigations of the gateway. Protective gear is no longer necessary. Admiral Carrick is waiting for you in the gateway chamber. No, you will follow me because I can run a lot faster than you can. Welcome. Rome Republic is here along with representatives of our allies, allies in the Federation and the Klingon Empire. To win this is the dawn of a new age, harnessing the power of this gateway could change everything for our people. Yes, we must be cautious. The day ones try to do the same and destroy them. But we have been studying the gateways since Admiral Cynthia helped us discover it. I am Admiral Cynthia. We believe that we understood where the day ones went wrong. We need to have we now have the technology. And the knowledge we need to successfully adapt Iconian technology for our own use. We have a few final adjustments to make, then we'll be ready to warf interrupts. You think you have corrected the issue? Consider what happened to the Daywans, and what the result would be if the Romulans lose a second homeworld. I have encountered Iconian gateways twice before. In both those instances, the finest commanders I ever served found the technology to be too dangerous to preserve. It is difficult to believe that you have managed to do what they could not. Are there problems? No problem. Ambassador Worf was invited here because of the expert, his experience with the Iconian gateways. He has been voicing his concerns with our decision to activate the gateway. 
My science teams are convinced they have solved the problem of the past, but I fear that, like the ambassador, some of my engineers have their doubts. The town and the Senate believe this to be an important step for new for the new republic. But it's a step we must take with our allies. We respect their opinions and want them to join us in this venture. Just as the Pajorans and the Federation worked in tandem when the wormhole to the Gamma, Car Gamma Quadrant was discovered. In the interest of easing some concerns, Ambassador, I invite you to take a look. I invite you to take a final check of the data, perhaps. Admiral Cynthia will be willing to assist you. I am ready to assist you, Ambassador. Acceptable. Admiral Kerrick, I want to start by reviewing your science team's work. Understood. I'm sorry, did you need something? Don't mean to be so distracted, but it's taken a lot of work here and a lot of late nights to get here. Finally, we're ready. Consider, considered everything that could go wrong and planned for any contingency. The day ones weren't as advanced technology, technologically as we are. They hadn't seen, they hadn't even become a warp culture when they tried to repower the gateway. We have advantages they could only dream of having. There's some risk, of course, but anything worth doing has some risk. We wouldn't be standing in a new home world for our people if we hadn't been willing to take a chance and end and challenge the Chelsea Telshiar. How can I help? With all due respect to you, Ambassador, I don't think there's anything to worry about. If you want, I'll review the data my team has collected with you. Admiral Cynthia can review the power variance coefficient numbers for alpha, gamma, and delta monitors. Maybe we need another set of eyes. I've I've had trouble sleeping. I'll find those numbers. Seventeen, oh sorry, fourteen, forty-seven, thirty-eight. Program initialized. Were you able to find the coefficient numbers for me? Alpha is fourteen. That looks correct. Are you sure? Were you able to find yeah. the Alpha is yes, that's correct. Gamma is forty-seven. As you can see, Ambassador, we've had all the numbers are in perfectly order. Does that satisfy you? Your numbers may be correct. But have you ever witnessed the power of one of these gateways outside of a holodeck? Well, I have. I was invited here to share my knowledge with those willing to listen. Even the best plans seldom survive contact with the enemy. Perhaps we should speak with the engineering teams. Yes, they've been asking for the final power variance numbers. I'm sure Commander Mayak would appreciate the newest set of data. We'll speak to him next. I appreciate you speaking up about your concerns. If our projections were off at all, we could end up freezing to death in the cage just like the day ones. This gateway is an extremely valuable resource, but is it worth losing everything we've built here? I have new numbers for you. Finally! You want a full-time job here? I could use some reliable help. Hmm, these aren't too bad, but better than what we've had before. Maybe th this will work after all. That's good. I agree that the simulations look promising, but I still have some concerns. So do I, but we're on a deadline. My team has the geothermal tap operational, and with the proper numbers we can finally align the power flow to the gateway and activate it again. I'd be happy to discuss your concerns with you, Ambassador, but I need someone to help with the final commands to raise the pylons while I monitor their power levels. Admiral, could you help? All my team are busy with the tap. It'll give the ambassador and I some time to talk. I'd ask Arjuna to do it, but she's got her hands full of it as it is. Tom invited you here, Ambassador. He has good reason. He's a good man. I trust him. If he thinks you have something important to say, we need to listen. Perhaps we can find a solution that will ensure the safety of all of us. Show me your projections. I'll activate the consoles and monitor the power readings.
numbers are good, but something seems off. This gateway well, not, might not be exactly like the others we've encountered. Off? Agreed. Sensor readings from the gateways I've encountered were significantly different than this. Could it be because of the power source you're using? Readings like this make me wonder. You open a door, and that means there's got to be something on the other side. Maybe this isn't a one-way trip. Do you think there's something on the other side trying to get in? The numbers aren't saying that exactly, but it's a real possibility. I understand what the gateway means to my people, but I'm concerned about what it could do, what could happen if we open it without taking more precautions. Can we add more security? Captains Sean and Corrin have been consulting with Kerarex security forces. I will ask Corrin to deploy some of her finest warriors. I do not know Captain Sean, but he commands an enterprise. He must be a formidable man. He also has less enthusiasm for activating the gateway than others here. I am certain he has considered all the options. I'll speak with Sean and see what our options are. There you are. Looking at you the whole time. How may I assist you? Do you have a moment? The team looks like it's almost done with the final checks. Make it quick. Actually, Ambassador Worf has some concerns about the gateway. Because he can't come over and chat with a Starfleet officer while raising some eyebrows in his own delegation, he's sending you instead. Interesting. Tell him I share in his concerns about the gateway. What do you think? What do he think we should do? He wants an option to neutralize the gateway if we need to. I'll admit I've been dubious about this project from the start. Some things are too powerful for anyone to have. Still, it's my job to do what Starfleet Command orders, so the Enterprise is here to assist and represent the Federation. It's also my job to protect my ship and the Federation, so I have my engineers work up a few contingency plans. If Corrin is bringing extra ground troops to deal with any unwelcome visitors, that should help. My chief engineer worked up a few small spatial charges with enough power to take out the gateway. If we attach them to the base of the pylons, we should be able to stop the disaster before it starts. I don't want to use them unless we have to. We're here at the Robin's invitation, after all. But it's always good to have a backup plan. I'll take care of it. What are you? Ah, good idea. If all the preparations are complete, I see no reason to delay. Prepare to activate the gateway. Initiating final power transfer. Power output rising. Levels are within expected parameters. Activating gateway. Spike! Attempting to compensate. No good. Abort! Abort the mission! Oh, they got down. crushed. Detonating charges. No effect. Get everyone out of the chamber. Now what? Into the gateway. Now! I knew that gateway would be trouble. We can't get a reading on where we are or how far we've traveled. The best we can figure out is that we are not in normal space anymore. And we are trapped. The scientists have been able to get a few readings from new Romulus, but the gateway was damaged. We cannot use it to return. 
A few people managed to grab some supplies on their way through the gateway. They might have something useful. Check the crates. Assist with the wounded. Once we have seen to the immediate problems, then we can worry about getting out of here. Understood. Basic field rations, some stream weather portable shelters. Data collection technology, including sensor units and a few tricorders. Emergency medical kits. A rock hit me on the way to the gate. I guess it could have been worse. I still have, I could still have been there when the top of the cavern came down. Use auto suture. My left arm, it hurts to move. Apply a sling. Thanks, I feel a lot better. I think I'll be okay now. You're welcome. It's okay, Admiral. Just a scrape. Apply bandage. It's my ankle. I can't put any weight on it. I hope we don't have to move quickly. I don't think I can walk, much less run. Scan injury. L2 sprain detected. Patients should report their sick bay for regeneration. Regeneration is not possible. Field treatment as follows. Ice, apply emergency compact. Compression, apply compress. Elevation, elevate limb. Treatment, a sprain completed. Patients should rest until they can report to sick bay. I believe I have found a way to open this door, but it will take two of us to override the controls. I think I can open this door but I will need your assistance. Once I override the security protocols, you will need to rewire the primary motivator to release the locking clamps. Are you ready? Yes, I am. Now, to see what lies beyond. Interesting. Are you detecting high trace levels of tetrion radiation? My tricorder shows this to be a complex of some kind. There is another large room further down this hallway. I am picking up something beyond this door. As much as I hate to say this, we will cover more ground if we split up. Agreed. We should keep in contact as we search. Commander Nignon will accompany me. If there's a way home, we'll find it. I will accompany you. I'll organize the security detail to remain here. I'll take care of things here. Good luck and watch your back. We don't know who else could be in this place or what they want. Come. We will find the way out. Traces of Tetrion radiation detected. Environmental and life support controls data logs show the environment was recently adjusted to settings from non capable with most humanoid life forms. Interesting. The adaptive life support system technology bound currently used by Alpha and Beta Quad system relations. Civilizations it appears to have wear and tear on many decades of use. I'm picking up some odd tetrion readings. And we've been able to confirm that we're in subspace, but there's nothing conclusive yet. I think we're in a medical facility, although it's not like any sick bay I've ever seen before. Interesting, Sean. This facility is mostly automated. That doesn't mean it's abandoned. We keep we're keeping watch for automated security. Nothing we can't handle yet, but we found something Interesting in this room. Looks like some sort of targeting array. I'm gonna find out more about it. Perhaps it's a way out. Maybe it's a way to open a gateway to a location without a corresponding one on the other end. I'll check in when we know more, Sean out. Ambassador, I think we should take a closer look at that large console. Good idea. If there is a targeting system and a medical bay, we may find the equivalent of a shuttle bay as well. Agreed.
This is main control console for the environmental controls in this facility. Environment can be set to a wide, accommodate a wide range of humanoid and non-humanoid species. Whoever uses these controls last set the environment for a breathable oxygen nitrogen mixture that is standard for most humanoid species. You cannot determine how long it has been since they were last accessed. We have not heard from the security detail. We need to check in with them. Security detail answer. Are you sure something here is not blocking our communicators? This is suspicious. We should check in with Corrin and Sean's teams. Captain Corrin, come in. Corrin here. We haven't found anything in this direction yet. I'll return to our starting location and find out what's happening. Good luck, Sean. I've found what appears to be some sort of targeting system. Huh, that's strange. Captain Sean, what is it? Did you hear that? We should answer, look out! Captain Sean's team is in trouble. Hurry! Find a Starfleet issue phaser with several adjustments to make it maximizes its power. The work is impressive. Sean Starcutter is still recording, but there's a four minute gap in the file. It's a standard issue toolkit. You know, the ensign was, with Sean was carrying one like this. No sign of Sean's team. Remains of combat are smashed along the floor with a smear of blood. This appears to be a targeting system of some sort. With settings for six coordinates, it shares some characteristics with a transporter. But the technology is so far beyond what you've seen before, you're not sure if you'll be able to operate it. This does not bode well. We should rendezvous with Corn and the others. Chase on it. Oop. Drone. Not have left without their supplies. Anyway, we we'll must it. find Corn and the Can others. Can you hail them? There's only one way left to us. Is the path Corn took. We may find answers we seek there. We need to hurry. We're all in danger here. Wait. I know this place. I have been here before. This table. I saw one just like it when I served on the Enterprise. Blood. Klingon and Ferocin. Koran put up a fight. There are data entries here that correspond to our missing people. They will be taken for examination soon. Well, let's go find them. It was a Solanogen-based race, and I have seen this before. When I served on the Enterprise, we attracted attention of aliens who existed solely in subspace. They abducted us, experimented on us. We did not know why, but their actions went far beyond mere curiosity. We were able to stop them before they established a pocket of subspace on board the ship, but not before they sent a burst of energy through. If these aliens served the Iconians, that energy could have been a message. Corin was not taken without a fight. Of that I am sure. And this table has not been used yet. These aliens must be holding the others. It is only a matter of time before they will be examined as well, and the experiments can be deadly. Everyone here is in danger. We must find and free them. We need to find the others. There is a holding area down this hall. We should... 
Automated defenses. Defend yourself. That Guardian was damaged by a disruptor. Corrin's work. We can overload the power cell from that Guardian. It should blast through the door. Be ready. There may be more Guardians beyond this door. I agree. Let's kick them all to hell. Find a desiccated corpse or the last species you recognize. You find that. Yep. I don't see Captain Sean or Maya here. Where are they? There's no more time. If you stop wandering around this place and get back to New Romulus, staying here is only going to get us get more of us killed. No. There is still someone missing who could be saved. We are not leaving without them. He's right. We keep looking. Sean is pale and unresponsive. His breathing is shallow. His pulse rate is dropping. He requires immediate medical attention. Diagnostic scan. Tricoder scan shows Sean's left arm and both antennae have been surgically amputated and reattached. An unknown foreign substance has been introduced into his lymph nodes and his superior vena carva has collapsed. Sean's cardiovascular and lymphatic systems have been seriously damaged by the experiments. He requires medical attention. Such a procedure is to regenerate veins, restore circulatory functions, and purge the lymph nodes. What? What happened? How? Can you help, Mike? Quick tricorder scan reveals Mike's blood's been completely replaced with a synthetic liquid polymer. Even immediate medical attention will be of no help. His family and friends will want to know what happened. It may not provide comfort, but it could provide closure. You carefully remove his communicator and dedication so they can be returned to his loved ones. Captain Sean? There's nothing more we can do here. If we want any hope of finding other survivors or stopping what needs to what's happening on New Romulus, we need to keep moving. Ambassador? Agreed. The best way to honor Mayak's memory is to save his new home. Agreed.
the gateway energy signature is emanating from somewhere across this expanse. We need to find a way across. My scans indicate there's some sort of control system at work. Perhaps we use that to activate the connection to the next platform. I'm picking up more of those automated defenses. They're at my tricorder's maximum range, but they'll be upon us quickly. The wounded are too weak to put up a fight. We should cross quickly and make our stand from the position of strength. You should scout ahead. Karn and Sean will remain with the injured and defend them at the Guardian drones arrive. Agreed. Scout ahead. We will escort the others when the way is clear. Soul system. Earth. Okay, I'm just going to quickly go through these. of my world. Vandros 4. I remember this world. We found an Iconian gateway there during the Dominion War. Getting worse, we must find a way to stop it. I know this planet. Does the Iconian influence reach so far? All right, now we're here at the central platform. This appears to be some sort of master control panel. I believe we can use it to open the gateway. Can we access the database? We must know what the Iconian plans are. Download the data and move everyone here before more guardians arrive. Excuse me.
I will remodulate the power system while you reroute. Yellow, green. That's a star chart. Blue, green, gateways. green. Look, that's the new Romulus gateway. Blue, blue, red, yellow. Romulus was reset. It wasn't the only one. Ambassador, we'll cover you as you download the data. The paths are retracting. They know we're here, and I don't think they're happy. Do you hear that? That doesn't sound good. Security reinforcements are inbound. We should use this gateway. Warp. I have downloaded what time. I can. It is time to leave. We have cut the network's connection to the new Romulus gate, which should stabilize the situation there. There will be some damage on new Romulus, but it could have been far worse. I agree. This is a bridge. We have walking wounded, but some of us can still serve. Where do you want us? Let's see. This appears to be a tactical console which controls ships' shields and power levels during combat and secondary access to weapons. Captain Sean would be the most effective officer here. Censored and deflector dish controls, although Adriana lacks combat experience, she is the best choice for this station. This is primary weapon control. You can think of no one better suited for a position like this than Ambassador Worf. This panel provides bridge control for engineering functions and dam including damage control. Captain Corrin is a necessary experience for this station. We have saved the Romulan's home world, but the gateways are open now. All of them. We do not know who will use them. It may be the Alachi, or it may be something far worse. We must warn everyone of what is coming. Activate the gateway and take us out. Receiving tactical telemetry. I'm detecting another gateway in the Jurette system. It's big. Ship-sized. The gateway is transmitting a high-band subspace signal. Sensors are picking up. Elachi ships on an intercept course. I suggest we go there and contact New Romulus for reinforcements. Agreed. Can we use that gateway? Not from here. I can make a gateway for us and set a destination close by, though. Do it. Taking us out. Sensors show that we are in the Juret system. Systems are all reading normal, though. Objects sighted near the ship. It is an Iconian gateway. Hail the Roman Republic. I'm very glad to see you all safely returned. When the quakes began, we lost all communications with the gateway chamber and feared the worst. But where did you go? Through the gateway? And what is that ship? I've never seen anything like it. I'll provide a full report as soon as I can. Suffice it to say, we had to open an entire Iconian gateway network to save New Romulus. You reset Let's preserve us. There could be hundreds of gates, thousands. They're all active now. There was a ship sized gateway hidden in subspace in this system. Enough talk. The gateway is transmitting a signal. I am picking up a corresponding one from an entire fleet of Alachi ships on an intercept course. Send every available ship. We must fight if we are to survive. Sending reinforcements now. Good luck. May the elements protect us all. 
We will hold off the Alachi here until reinforcements arrive. We will hold off the Alachi until Allied forces arrive. I just said that. Inbound. Hold them up. Well, let's go and say hello. The Alachi can send their entire fleet. We will not fall. Almost got you. There 
is still the matter of what to do about the gateway. That discussion cannot be delayed. Agreed. The Alachi forces have been destroyed. No further hostiles inbound. Captain Shang, the Enterprise should scan the gateway. We need to know more. Agreed. But we should destroy that gateway now, while we still have the chance. No! That gateway is in Romulan space. It belongs to the people of the Romulan Republic. Have you not learned? Another invading force could arrive at any moment. Afraid of a fight, Captain? Corin, prudence is not cowardice. The gateways are powerful. They may be too much for any of us to control. We should disable it before it becomes another threat to the Romulans and to us all. How is this different from the wormhole near Bajor? This is a strategic and scientific asset, and it belongs to my people. Captain Sean, if you destroy the Gateway, I can assure you that Detan will reconsider our friendly relations with the Federation. The Klingon Empire will fully support our Romulan allies in this matter. Enterprise to Captain Sean. Sir, we've been scanning the Gateway. What did you find? The Terminus is at a fixed point now. We can determine that. But then, I don't know what we picked up, but the monitors on the bridge are all showing an Omega. We're locked out of the computer, and engines are offline. We can... We need you back on the Enterprise, sir. I see. That changes things significantly. Indeed it does. I should return to the Bordescu. Worf will be waiting for you. Corrin to the Bordescu. One to transport. I should return to New Romulus. Immediately. Ambassador, it was a pleasure to work with you. I wish we could have had that talk. Agreed. Another time. Send my regards to your chief engineer, Captain. I'll let Chief O'Brien know. Sean to Enterprise. Transport me directly to my ready room. Today was a glorious battle. You have won much honor for yourself and your allies. Kapla. It seems there are larger conflicts that all of our people will need to face. If we are to survive, we may need to face them together. It was an honor to fight beside you. Are you ready to leave the system? Take us out. Then I'll reset all my traits again. Well, I was regretful that some of the gateways are unlocked. I know that together we will look, face the future. Our governments will be contacted in regards to this Omega situation. When we are prepared to act, I know you will be involved. Thank you, Admiral, and good luck in the future. Thank you. Okay, let's get rid of all this junk we don't need. And thank you everyone for showing up, and I'll see you tomorrow.
Enjoy.